So guys, today I'm going to teach you on how you can make your own probiotic. So first of all, I, we have some ingredients that are needed. First, we need, this one is 10 liters of clean water. This water must not be chlorinated. It must be fresh water. The second one, we need yogurt. I'm using the probiotic yogurt because we have some important bacteria that are named here, as you can see. Yes, they are named here. We have this one. They have the lactobacillus. We have many. I used this because I want also some other great bacteria to be in my final product. Here we have one kilo of brown rice. We are using brown rice, organic brown rice, because the brown rice usually has some good bacteria on the surface rather than the white rice. Here we have a, a spatula and here we have this Moscovado sugar. Moscovado sugar is made in a jaggery. And how is Moscovado sugar important here? Moscovado sugar is made in a way whereby they take the sugar cane, then they strain it, eat soup. After they have strained it, eat soup, then they add some lime to get this. This one it cannot be made in a sugar factory. A sugar factory usually makes sugar and refines it. After it has refined the sugar, it makes something known as molasses. But this one is unrefined sugar. This one is what is called jaggery or Moscovado sugar. And the next one here we have apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar will be used for the preservation of the probiotic that we'll be making. This video is sponsored by Henchik Poultry Farm. Henchik Poultry Farm is one of the best upcoming poultry farms that is found in Kenya and it has sponsored this video. It usually deals with the sale of incubators, it usually deals with the sale of chicken cages, we usually sell day old chicks at only one dollar, that is a hundred Kenyan shillings. We have incubators from 64 eggs up to 10, 56 eggs, even we can have up to 5,000 if you are in need, you can get it on order. We also do the installation of the incubators and the installation of the cages. guys. We also sell brooded chicks and mature chicken for meat at three months old. Guys, what are you waiting for? Order day old chicks from Henchik Poultry Farm. We are located in Bungoma, but we do countrywide deliveries. Our contacts are 0790122478. Our contacts are 0790122478. Premium chicken, Henchik Poultry Farm. So what is our first step? Our first step is to take our brown rice. This one is about one kilo and, uh, and some grams. Then we put it in this, wa in this water. As you can see. This is the brown rice. We are putting it in the water. That is the first step of making the probiotic. Then after that, we will take our Moscovado sugar, which is the jaggery. Yes, as you can see, then we will put it here inside. This one is in, in a crumble form. It looks like the toffee-like toffee, toffee -like pests, as you can see it. But it is also very nutritious. It has some minerals and it is way better than the ordinary refined sugar because the refined sugar doesn't have the minerals. So this one is, is what is needed. Because when the sugar is refined, they remove the molasses and the molasses usually has some minerals. And that's why you usually hear that you can use the molasses in making of silage for the animals and also you can use the molasses to add to water so that it can sweeten the water for the animals. So after you have done that, take your yogurt. Mine is a probiotic yogurt. The brown rice can only make the lactobacillus, but because I also, I also want these, these bacteria, which is Biophobacterium lactis, I, I bought this yogurt so that I can use it to add to that lactobacillus and also some other good bacteria here. So what I will do, I will add this one is 450 grams which is the same as 450 ml so I'll, I'll open it as you can see and what i've realized is that the probiotic yogurt usually feels like a, a bit watery than the other yogurt so i'll take the 450 grams which is around 450 ml and i'll add it around 350 ml in the water after I've added the 350 ml of the, of the yogurt in the water, I'll stir it. I'll stir it using this big spatula. You have to stir it continuously till all that Moscovado sugar has fully dissolved in the water. And the importance of the Moscovado sugar is that the bacteria 
will be able to feed on that sugar and be able to multiply. So that's why we need the Moscovado. The, we need, uh, yes, we need the Moscovado sugar here. The ordinary sugar doesn't have those good minerals and good potassium and magnesium. So that's why we have to use the unrefined Moscovado sugar. So if you have the other sugar, what you can do, you can try and add molasses in it instead of using the ordinary sugar, the refined one. You have to use the sugar and some molasses so that you can be able to make a good probiotic. So you have just to stir it continuously, continuously. So you just have to continue stirring it. I have stirred it for more than 10 minutes so that you can make sure everything is well dissolved. The better part with the rice is that you can use the rice up to 10 times and be able to yield the probiotic. The one benefit of probiotic is that it will keep the chicken gut very healthy and it, will be, it won't be able to be attacked by other harmful bacteria. And that is what one benefit of probiotic and the probiotics we have the, the as the example i have told you we have the lactobacillus we have the bifobacterium lactis we have the lactobacillus acidophilus we have very many types of good bacteria and that's how we make this probiotic and one thing when you are making this probiotic don't put it directly with the sun because the UV, the sun uv rays usually destroy the the bacteria and also don't use chlorinated water because chlorinated water will kill the bacteria, the good bacteria, the lactobacillus. So make sure you use fresh water from a well or, or water that is unchlorinated by using of milk. So after we have stirred it for a very long time and everything that we are sure that everything is well dissolved. The other thing that we will do, we will take our, our apple cider vinegar. As you can see it, this one is with the mother. But you don't need essentially need this one with the mother. This one with the mother, I have posted a video on the secret benefits of apple cider vinegar. Make sure you go and watch it. The secret benefit of apple cider vinegar. This one is for the mother and this one we are using it as a preservative. As you can see, I'll only use two to three tablespoons. Two to three. That is two. Let me put some mother there. Then that is three. Three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar for as a preservative. Then I'll stir it very properly. So after I have stirred it very properly, what I'll need to do is I will need to cover it. You have to have it airtight because what we are doing here, we are doing something known as an aerobic respiration. An aerobic respiration you need fermentation without the, the presence of oxygen for the lactic acid fermentation to produce that thing known as ATP adenosine triphosphate so that's why we are using an airtight cover on this so after we have covered it we will put it in a cool dark dry place cool dark dry place because we don't want that UV light to fall on it so that it can be fermented for seven days so after it has fermented for seven days, it is now good that can be used by the chicken. So the dosage is 10 millimeters in four liters of water. And this one is given two to three times a week. By doing that, you will keep the diseases away from your chicken. And the chicken will have a healthy gut. A chicken will be antibiotic free birds. And they will fetch a higher price in the market if you are in developed countries. But here in Africa, it doesn't matter that much. But it will also help you to save a lot of money in buying of the antibiotics because when your chicken gets sick if you have like 500 chicken it will cost you like 50 dollars to for those chicken to be able to be treated by buying of antibiotics but if you are able to make your own probiotic by these things that you have seen i have used you'll be able to save yourself big time and you'll have happy chicken producing a lot of eggs on your farm and growing very fast on your farm be open-minded
Cut. Oh. 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 Oh.